Welcome back. I knew you would return eventually. This is talking to you guys. Please look down at your feet. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Whether you succeed or fail, just attempting the challenge will show something about your character. Now, I suppose you're wondering why Rosalind was saying that, and why the numbers changed, just get my lives. Well, that's because I did the final boss without showing you guys. And that's because the final boss, uh, there are some levels that are only accessible after you defeat him. Well, defeat Bowser. So, yeah. Sorry about that, but uh, at least this way I get to show you the new levels because I wanted to save the final boss for last. Now I said I was going to start the engine room, but first I just want to show you this. See, this is the purple comet. This is what I told you about. Uh, this is what I told you about that's only accessible after the final boss. You have to collect 100 purple coins. Some are going to have to speed up because they'll just take forever if I don't. They're going to take a really long time. But this one is indefinitely the easiest. Apart from maybe the final one. Yeah, I know, the final purple coin mission is the easiest. So, yeah, no lie, it is. So, uh, yeah, the, the path is fairly linear. I'm not going to speed this up just because just it's going to take barely two minutes. So, there are... Ow. You can die, so I suppose that does make it harder than the final one, so yeah. So, anyway, you can get 15 right away, and there's a bunch uh, through here, so that makes it a whole lot easier. Oh, avoid those things. Oh, spawn some purple coins, leave me alone. Oh, there's some more. No, that's Star Bits. I confused. Purple coins with star bits, I'm stupid. Okay, here we go. And uh, by the way, uh, the way I'm going to alternate with this is going to be like um, a purple coin mission and then a new level, or two purple coin missions and a new level. Because if I do purple coin missions over and over again, then you guys are just going to get bored really fast. Unless, of course, I have my... Ah, I missed it. So, yeah, that's all the planets covered. The rest should just be on the launch star paths. And there's only, there's only 30 left. Yeah, see, there's a bunch right here. So, yeah, this is probably the fastest purple coin mission you'll ever see. Now, um, there can either be no time limit, like here... Or they can have a time limit. Swing the Wiimote like crazy. So yeah, some of the ones with the time limit are still going to take a while, so I might have to speed some of those up. But don't worry, you shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Now, where's the last one? Should be through here. Shake the Wiimote like crazy. There we go. Yep, there they are. See? Already got it. And that did take a lot sh a lot shorter than most of the others would. Right, there is your first purple comet star. And now, if you all jump up here where the library is, well, just follow the green light, you'll get here, and standing there, that'll take you to the engine room. And if this is the gold leaf, uh, the one with gold leaf galaxy, then yeah, this is going to be a really uh, uncreative galaxy. Yep, already discovered the enemy base. Yeah, stop recycling the same text over again. There's a Gimo in here, but he's not important. Uh, is this gold leaf? Yep, most unoriginal dome you'll ever see. Now, before starting gold leaf, I feel like doing this Bonefin galaxy. And afterwards, I'll do the first mission of Gold Leaf. Now, I have to say, if you have the fear of sharks, then you're not going to like this level. And, yeah, I I am phobic of sharks. No lie. And I have to say, the shark here is pretty scary. 
I don't know why they just they didn't just send you through the water because that Starstream and Launch Cell are kind of tacked on. Wait, wait. Oh, that's scary. Seriously, look here. That's the new Jaws. Yeah, if Steven Spielberg or whoever or any kind of famous director wants to direct another Jaws film, then this is the new face of the shark. Yeah, imagine that. Zombie Jaws. And, as, and he has these little uh, fish things which I don't know are called. Maybe I should think of another original name for him. Because I'm thinking of those right off, right, right off the top of my head. So let's see. Uh, what can I call those robot things? Um, mini Jaws? Nah. Nah, it's kind of what they are, so... That's not the most creative thing. Um... No, who cares? Oh, I need it. I need some air. What the? No, don't go after the mini jaws. Go after Kingpin. Oh, uh, health mushroom there. Don't think I'll need it, but I'll get it just in case. Thank you. Whoa! How that? Not, how that not hit me? I got lucky. Come on, hit him. Grab the shell. Am I going to keep the shell after the cutscene? Because I doubt I am. The game's just going to do that to me. Oh, well, I did get to keep it. How nice. Oh, and I missed into... What the hell? The camera glitched itself up. Uh, okay. Not sure how many hit points he has. It's like six or something. I don't know. I've never counted. Okay, come on. There we go. Uh, no. Stupid mini jaws. Yeah, I said that that name was uncreative, but I'm still using it. I don't know what these are called. Maybe you can post a comment because I know that these have been in previous Mario games. I'm sure of it. What the? Ow. Yeah, but I definitely needed that health mushroom because it's gone now. Can I please just hit this guy? This is a really short mini galaxy. This is a mini galaxy. It's supposed to be short, but where is he? There he is. Come on, Jaws. That's better. It took me forever to get a single shot in. Okay, there we go. I prefer the red shells just because they hang in on him, but come on. There we go. Ow. Oh, no, wait. I got him. Thought I was going to die. Please say that the mini jewels disappear after this, because otherwise I'm going to die. Yeah, that would be a good, uh, a good next Jaws film. They kill the shark by, uh, well, I think that fire will kill it. They kill the shark by exploding it with Cooper shells. Seriously, get Steven Spielberg on, Steven Spielberg on the line. I want to see it. And now I'm going to start Goldie, which is basically a huge ripoff of Honey High. It has the same honey hive music as I recall. Oh, I didn't even click it. Okay, Star Bunny's on the hunt. On the hunt for Miyamoto because he can he was completely unoriginal here. I'm not I'm on the hunt for him. Yep, honey hive music and it's completely reversed honey hive. So yeah, here you're supposed to find five star chips. In fact, just look, they have an L. L for Luigi, it's not M for Mario, so they got slightly creative, but I'm not letting them off. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I don't even need that, guys. I can just do that. Oh, get in there. Yeah. I think you're supposed to slam on all of those and you get a sling star, but I didn't even need it. Speedrunning tactics are good, kids. So yeah, remember that. Speedrunning tactics will get you through life. Try using them whenever you can. Uh, let's see, where's the fifth one? I think I need a honeybee suit for this or not. I don't know. Actually, I don't think I do. 
Do they have bees here? Even the bees are unfo uh, unhappy. They're like, hey, this isn't Honey Hive. Miyamoto ripped us off and I nearly died. Where's the... Oh, I think it's back here. Fifth star ch should be back here. Uh, please be up here. Where's the star chip? Was one of these guys have a sprouter vine in it? Or was it inside something? Um. Uh. Was I supposed to get a B outfit? I can't remember. Oh, this is embarrassing. Um. No, that just gives you a sling star. I just do it anyway. Um. I'm lost. I don't have a clue where to go. Okay, it was up here. You just have to swing on that flower, which I thought wouldn't like me because I wasn't a bee. I was wrong. Oh, okay. Avoid the Octumba. Let's see. Where is it? Well, I want to stomp a stump. Yeah, you're weird. But then again, we're all a bit weird. Whoa. Okay, it should be right here. There we go. And that got quite a few pool stars. At least they're actually needed. Unlike some pool stars. No, Nintendo, I'm not letting you off the hook. You gave me a huge middle finger and I'll never forget it. And here we have another rabbit to catch. I'm not sure if that green thing will do anything to him. Because if it did, but am I running slower as B Mario? I can't tell. Because I'm fully healed again. Come on. That's better. I didn't want to catch him as B Mario. Felt weird. Come on, B Mario. That's it. Long jump. Long jump like you've never long jumped before. Come on. Oh, come on. You're joking. <sighs> I really hate star bunnies. Well, I don't hate star bunnies, but I hate catching them. It's going to take a while. And the spheres don't make it any easier. Uh, you can slam that thing too. Actually, no, that would be helpful. There we go, that stopped him. I should have done that first. Boy Wing, you got me, alright then, take this. Unfortunately, we're not done with Star Bunnies yet. We'll have to catch even more of them later in the game. Where is it? Uh, Where is the power star? Oh, there it is. And with that done, and the introduction to the engine dome, I'm going to... En engine room dome, I'm going to finish up here. So, yes, yeah, sorry for skipping over the final boss, but don't worry, I will play it again at the end. I just wanted to save it till last, because I want to get all the extra power stars out of the way first. So, with that said, I'll see you guys next time.